YouTube, the Geeky Minecrafter here, bringing you the next episode in the Let's Play series. Today's episode, episode 18, is going to be an automatically harvested wheat farm. I've got quite a few animals, and I'm spending all my time uh, planting and, and harvesting and planting and harvesting, so I need to automate some of it, and I want to make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do that and share it with you on camera. Now, as you can see behind me here, this is the chicken farm, the automatic chicken farm that I have um, finished. And one thing I did while I was off camera was I did add another um, cell down here. Uh, now, it's it's producing. Uh, things are flowing down. It looks like I have a... Huh. Oh, I didn't put the hopper chain in. Well... Uh, that's okay, I'll come back and do that later. So I, I have added the fourth cell. It's not being fed downstairs, but I'll fix that. Um, it is cranking out quite a bit of chicken, and what I love about it, it's close enough to the, to the base that while I'm in the base, it is producing chicken. Um, I don't have to be down here AFK. All I have to do is be in my base or working around my base, and things are coming in. Uh, so I did want to show you that. Uh, this is... <laughs> I've come down and I've grabbed almost two full rows of chicken and taken it down and spread it out all across uh, where I'm working. I've got some down in the mine, uh, the new mine and the old mine, and I've got uh, quite a bit at home. So the chicken farm is, has turned out to be a really, really wise investment for me. So what I think I want to do, remember I had the original tree farm here, and although it worked, it just really wasn't you know I wanted to experiment and my greenhouse one with the water flowing down below allows for the collection quite a bit easier I can I can knock all the trees down and walk away and come back later and collect the saplings and replant so I don't have to worry about that so what I thought I'd do is take this space right here where I had cleared out for the tree farm and convert this into an auto harvesting wheat farm now, if you'll remember from an earlier video, I did a prototype, so I'm basically going to do that um, probably a little bit longer. Uh, depends on how many blocks we have down here. Uh, let me do a quick little count here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twelve. Okay, allowing three for the for the mechanics back here. That gives us 16 to work with. 16, I just need, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be perfect. So this is going to fit inside here really, really nicely. Uh, so I'm going to go get set up. I'm going to go gather up all the materials I need for this build. Um, see, I've got, I've got some of it, but I, I need some uh, sand. I need some pistons. So let me go get uh, tooled up, and we'll get started building that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And while I was gone... Oh, it's glitching pretty hard here. What's going on? Uh, you know what? Let me turn down my... not sure what's going on here. Um, so while I was gone, one of the things I did was... Uh, I had to go over to the... Uh, XP farm, I have a whole bunch of uh, sand over there, and I need sand for the build, so I did pick some of that up. Um, I also, you know, <laughs> kicked the butt of a few zombies, because, uh, you know, that's how we roll. Um, I grabbed up, I think, pretty much everything I'm going to need. I uh, hope so, anyway. So, let me just explain the concept, and uh, then we'll get started building. So, let's see. Got plenty of food. So I'm, I'm going to take this stuff down here. So let's go ahead and finish picking all this stuff up. Oh, yeah, I must have a, <laughs> a pretty powerful here. We'll use the dirt to do it. I have a pretty powerful um, pick and shovel. So we'll put some of these up here just to kind of help light things up a little bit while we're working. It's going to be dark soon. Okay, 
so I'm going to do a little bit of layout here. I'm going to use dirt blocks to do that. Uh, I do believe I need three on the back side. Uh, I'm going to give myself one to walk on. So one, two, three. That's, that's the area where the piston is actually going to be right here. So from here, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's gonna f it's gonna fall down one level right here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Look at that. It's it's gonna be not enough. Well, okay, it won't be as long as it. it it's okay. It'll stop at the end, and that's okay. Okay, after doing a little bit of math, uh, did a little, little counting, I realized that I'm, I don't have quite enough room. I am going to need to take this fence line back about four blocks, fill that in with dirt. Uh, so I'm going to go off camera to do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, I've saved you from watching the boring stuff. All I've done is run this back a few blocks. Uh, I did have to go into the tree farm and farm some trees. Or, or rather pull it out of the chest so that I could uh, build some more fences. Of course, taking it back four meant I was about eight shy. Um, I've counted out the 20 spots I'm going to need. I am also going to need some water, quite a bit of water. So I'm going to dig out a space right here, and I'm going to put a or build a perpetual water spot right here. If I could uh, count here. Bring up my inventory. That was a... That was a oopsie. That was my bad. So we'll put a couple of these in here, like this. So an, an infinite water source is one water in this corner, one water in this corner. When it stops flowing, it's now infinite. So I can refill these two buckets back up. And fill my seventh bucket up as well. I won't need the fence. Okay, so I now have seven buckets. Uh, you know what I don't have is a... I don't know, I didn't bring my hoe. Let's uh, make one real fast. I'm going to use the hoe to help me mark where everything is going to go. I don't need it to last long. A stone hoe will be fine. Okay. So the way this works, uh, I mentioned this before, is water flows uh, up to eight blocks. Uh, so I'm going to put a water source down on this row. I'm going to have a uh, hoed here. One, two, three. Okay, that's four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can I can actually move it over a little bit if I need to. Uh, but for right now, that's good. I, I may double this later in size. So at this point is going to be my water source. Is that right? Oh wait, I went I went too far back, didn't I? I did. I need to come three forward. Oh, I had some. My bad. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I went one too far again, didn't I? Well, I'm just having a heck of a time counting today, aren't I? Kids, this just goes to show you, stay in school. <laughs> okay, one, two, three. This is actually where I want it, so I'm going to fill this in. Uh, that gives me walkway back here, just in case. So let's just start there. Oh my goodness, I started a fire. Hello. Oh, it put itself out. I had a bucket of lava, and I needed to empty it to uh, <laughs> to have a uh, one more bucket of uh, water empty. So I dug a hole and put it in there, and it caught the grass on fire. Good grief. Okay, it gets dark really, really fast, so I'm going to go ahead and jump down there in this bed. Uh, I really don't want the nasties coming out and... Uh, causing me grief, so I'll just go to sleep real fast. <laughs> okay, should be all done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. 
I should probably move the bed if I'm going to be at this much longer. But the good news is the, the farm itself doesn't take very long to build. So just be patient with me for just a bit. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how wide it's got to be. Okay, these three are going to hold the pistons, the repeaters, and the redstone. So at this point, we're going to be able to uh, farm this area here. So I'll go ahead and just do a quick mark. That looks good. Two, three, four. Let's see, one, two. Oh, I need to go ahead and put the water in, so it'll stop doing that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more. There we go. So there's all seven back over here and refill these. Do the other side. This stuff here is boring, huh? Almost done, guys. Okay, so water in here. One, two, three, four, Oh, I'm short one, aren't I? There we go. I'm still short one. What? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. No, I'm not. This one's one too long. That's okay. I'm going to cut another channel. Okay, so eight on each side. Pull this down. This is just my marking. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. So the next water channel will be right here. Okay, I'll show you that in just a second. So the rest of this is going to get uh, just hoed up. Now I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to hoe everything yet until I finish this. Because I, uh, I've learned from my mistakes. <laughs> Last time I was building this, I, um, I flooded my redstone after it was already down and lost everything. Oh, it was very frustrating. Okay, so basically we want, um, we want an inversion right here. We want, we want an on-off switch. Oh, good grief. So I guess I better go put that out before I set my forest on fire. Okay, I have a new block of obsidian I can mine. Good grief. This is why we have cobblestone up there, because we're working with lava. Lava catches fire really easily. So, we don't want that. Uh, where did I put my torches? My redstone torches? Really? No? Fine. I just need a couple. Actually, I just need one. What'd I do with the sticks? Good grief. Okay, I want one. And my reason for this is by putting this here and putting a lever down at the other end, uh, I am going to be able to turn this whole row on and off uh, by inverting what, what's here. So 
I want to go one away from the water because we do not want to um, to wash all our redstone away. And look at this. I have I have water right here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to go two down so I can bury it later. Oh, I should have brought a different pick out here. Th I mean, a different shovel. This is crazy. It just wants to dig to China. Uh, one more. Okay, so basically I'm going to put an on-off switch right over here. And I said, I mentioned earlier that I was going to bring it out. Um, I, I, during the break, I stopped and went into my redstone uh, experiment world, ran this again to see what it would take to lower it another level so I could go eight more. The challenge is uh, this water in the side channel uh, doesn't want to lower. Now, I, I could possibly put this here and uh, just continue this on, step it down a level. Uh, but the problem is this water flows out. So I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try that. That's just that's just more trouble than it's worth. Okay, so we need to wire this in. I'm gonna bring some redstone down here. Uh, we're going to wire that into the block next to the torch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So yeah, we're gonna be a little long, so I am gonna put a repeater about halfway down. I do have that right. No. Can we just grab everything we're going to need? For the love of Pete. Okay. Uh, redstone, repeater, torch. Where's my lever? Got that. Okay. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll come back over for the seeds in just a minute. So about halfway down, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put a uh, repeater. That's This is going to be wired up to a switch. Okay, now we need some repeaters here. Okay, we're going to put pistons in this spot. Uh, and of course, I did not get them. Oh, really? I keep falling on my face. There they are. You know, while I'm here, Grab the hoppers just to be on the safe side. Glowstone, I'll do that later. I'll need the chests. Uh, okay. So I know I told you originally that my design called for sand and pistons to be lowered. But again, during the break, I found a different design that I'm going to try uh, that you, this uses pistons to just hold back the water, which I think I like better. It's a little bit less uh, resource intensive. And that is always a good thing. Okay, wire this up. Now, we could have just run a, a line of redstone down here. Uh, that would have been fine. What would have happened, or, or you know, the result we would have gotten, is uh, the pistons would have fired in sequence. So this one would go, and then this one, and then this one. So the water would flow kind of, you know, from left to right across the board. I like things to be a bit more immediate, so this is why I am uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it this way by putting the repeaters in. They'll fire all at the same time. Now, I'm just going to block this in so I don't fall in the hole because we all know I'm pretty clumsy and that that's pretty easy for me to do. So, Okay, I also need half slabs over this. Did I put them in my inventory? I did. Yay me. Um, I'm going to put these right here, and I, you know, I should make them out of, I should. We should match, right? Twenty-four, that should do it. Uh, I just think this will look better. What do you think? It's okay, you can say it. I'm anal retentive. I know it. I'm not going to say I'm proud of it, <laughs> but, you know, I do know this about myself. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a full block down here. And my reason for doing that is I'm going to be wrapping this so that it'll hold water. Now I am going to cover the water channel with half slabs so I don't fall in. Again, we all know how, you know, graceful I am. Do the same on this side. I should just go get that stinking bed and bring it over here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Uh, I will tell you, <laughs> you know, I wish the Minecraft day was just a little bit longer. Ten minutes is uh, the way I, you know, count and study and back up and try things multiple times. Uh, ten minutes just isn't very long. Of course, I guess they knew what they were doing. Nobody else is complaining, just me. So, it's probably okay. Okay, on top of here is going to be some more sandstone. Uh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't bring enough, did I? Nope, I did not. How convenient is it that I have a desert right over there? Okay, well here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you what I'm going to need and why I'm going to need it. Okay, we're going to put water right on top of this. So I need uh, to build a... Oops, not with this. I need to build a channel to hold the water back right along here. So one up here as well. See where I'm going with this? I'm almost out of space, but by putting this all along here and putting a water source all across the top of these pistons, when I turn the lever, the pistons withdraw, the water drops. So let me just go uh, mine some standstone over there. It won't take but a second. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And... Uh, <laughs> I found it quicker to just run to the house. I had a bunch of sandstone mined. However, when I walked up to my front door, there was a zombie inside my house. And of course, my uh, my doors are set to automatically open when somebody walks up to them. So what happens? But uh, he walks right out and starts hitting me. Because guess what? I did not have my sword in my hotbar. So lesson learned, I will be putting a lock on my doors. Uh, so that when I'm inside, you know, they can't get in. i got to figure out why he was able to get in. I think he probably spawned in there, uh, which is which is no stinking good. Okay, so that's it. The water source is under. The, it's covered. I do need to uh, mine this out. Let's see, where's my hoe? Let's put these up. I'm going to need some seeds. And, uh, what else? I wonder. You know, this is the first time I've tried this design. The other one allowed sunshine back there, and I'm, I'm hoping this one isn't going to uh, present a problem. Okay, there we go. Now I need the channels cut. I put up my shovel. I did. Okay, so basically this channel, again, the original design called for um, hoppers all across here. But with a little bit of creativity here, I think we can run a couple of um, water sources like this. Where is that going to end? There we go. One more. It's because I'm missing a bucket of water right here in this corner. Okay, so that's eight water sources down this edge, eight water sources down that edge. They flow to the center and then come down to here. So I'm basically, I'm going to temporarily stop this so I can work in here. Uh, I'm basically going to uh, scoop this out, put a couple of chests right here, a couple of hoppers right here, 
Let me just make sure how far this goes. Wow, that's pretty good, huh? Wonder if I should go one more. I don't want my chest underwater. Okay, two rows of hoppers, two rows of chests. Do I have that? I do. Just put the chests here. Didn't I get the hoppers? You saw me get the hoppers. Come on. Somebody saw me get the hoppers, right? <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, I only need... I really only need two. Point them into that chest. Okay, hoppers. Let's see what we get. I may want to move them back. Nope, that should be perfect. Okay, so when the water flows, let's go ahead and see if our, our switch is working. Let's see, we've got redstone down to here. Uh, tell you what, let's, um, let's do a little bit of decorative stuff. No, no, I'm wrong. I'll do that later. Uh, I just want to make sure it works first. So this is where I'm going to have the lever. Okay, and I want to... Oh, look, it's getting dark again, isn't it? Good grief, it just never ends. Don't want no nasties creeping up on me. <laughs> Cannot tell you, tell you how many times I've heard Data say that. Uh, it sticks. You know, it's funny. <laughs> I'll come in for playing a game and my mom will say, Who have you been talking to? Because, uh, you know, you sound like a Aussie. <laughs> I say, that would be Data. I'm talking about Dataless uh, 8, 822. He's one of my unofficial Minecraft heroes. Okay, hell, he's he's official. Okay, let's see. This may be too long a run. Let me test it. Okay. Success! Success! All right! Now all we have to do is... Plant it and let it grow. So let me throw a uh, walkway over here because, you know, good grief, I am not the most graceful. I should have done it just there. Go ahead, you can say it. I'm a klutz. I lose one? Did it go down into the chest? It did. Okay, I'll make a couple more. We can cover this in uh, with dirt. Actually, I'm going to put this down. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am. And the rest of this in dirt. Just so... You know, I I don't uh, I don't go dig in there. Remember, I am gonna I'm gonna try another design that lets me uh, pull it out. Oh, that should have been uh, good grief. Okay, so just have to plant it, and should be ready to go. Oh, see, don't get in the water, snake, klutz. Well, either way, it's it's done. It held 64. That's quite a bit of wheat all at once, so I'm going to let this grow up. Uh, probably will put some torches down uh, just to you know help it along. Oh, you can't torch half slabs, can you? Okay.
Okay, I think that's going to do it. Uh, I will come down and do a little decorating. I'm not going to make you sit through that. That'll be painful because uh, I'm the kind of person that you know it takes me a while to make my de you know make my decision about how I want it to look and where I want it to go and what looks good and what doesn't. So I won't make you sit through that. I will tell you, this is the Geeky Minecrafter with another episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed this automated wheat farm. If you did, feel free to leave a like down below. Let your friends know. Uh, anything you can do towards that end helps me and my channel out. Till next time, this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing out, saying, Happy Mining!